Today, I'll be showing you how you can create an embed for your website that will appear on Discord or other social media. So here, I'm using a Discord tool that allows you to input a website and see the embed that Discord will generate for it. So here I have my own personal website, and this is the embed that Discord will generate for it because I have put specific tags in my HTML file that I'm serving on this site. So there are a couple of different ways you can do this. There are these three platforms that Discord supports. The first is OEmbed, which they, the way that OEmbed works is that you will provide a link in your HTML to a JSON file that will specify this information. The next way is OpenGraph, which the way this works is it provides the information that, data, that Discord uses to generate the embed through meta tags in the HTML header. And then additionally, Discord supports Twitter cards, which use the same method as OpenGraph of these meta tags in your HTML. So the way I'll be showing you how to do this today is using the OpenGraph tags, but I'll talk a little bit about the other ways of doing it. So here I have my website open, and I'm looking at the HTML, and you can see all of these meta tags that I've specified that Discord uses to generate that embed. So for example, I have the title, I have the type, I have URL, site name, image, and all of these combine to create the embed. So I have this other page on my website, test.html, which is just a simple test page. If I plug this in to the Discord embed preview, it doesn't give any embed. And so if you post this in Discord, it'll just be the blue underlined link. So today we're going to add an embed for this, so you can see how to do it for your own site. So I'm logged into my server. Here we can see the index HTML page with all the meta tags that we looked at earlier. And here we have the test HTML page with none of those meta properties. So first we can add a title. So we can use the OG title. And the way we'll do this is, so you create a meta tag, use the property, and you want open graph title, and then the content is gonna be whatever you want that title to say. So we'll say this is a test. And we'll need to close our tag. And so now, if we generate that embed again, we can see we now have this title. So we can add a little bit more information. So let's add a description. And also let's add an image. And so this image will need to be a link to an image. So I have an image that I want and I'll put that there and I will close the tag. So now we can generate this again. Looks like my link, I didn't use the right link. So here, this is the actual link to the image. I used the wrong one. So if I save that and I generate it again, now we have our title, our description, and our image. So this is how you can create a quick and simple embed for your website. We can also try it on Facebook. So this is a similar site to that Discord embed preview, but for Facebook. So here I can see the one for my title title page, but we can also do our test HTML page and it will generate that. We can obviously play around with it more to make it a little bit more appealing, but that's just an example. So there are a lot of different tags that you can use to customize your embed. Additionally, these tags may be used by search engines to see if you, they should recommend your site to someone, if it matches their query. It's also good to look at what Twitter cards provides or OEmbed provides because they do not all overlap. There are some that provide additional features that you may want to use in your embed. So it'd be good to take a look at all of them. Additionally, there are some features that aren't part of any of those platforms that still affect the Discord embed. 
So for example, you can use the theme color and you can give it a color. So just a hex code and that will affect the color of the side of your Discord embed. So now we gave it a pink color, so now it's pink. And you can customize that to be whatever you want if you don't want the, the default black. So if you're looking for some inspiration for your embed, I'd suggest checking out the FX Twitter site. What FX Twitter does is it improves upon the base Twitter embed by providing more information like comments, retweets, hearts, views, and additionally for posts that contain videos, it does a better job at supporting playing them on different devices than the normal Twitter embed does. So if we remove this FX, now we can see the normal Twitter embed is not as good or doesn't contain as much information. We can see they're using this uh, the theme color again to customize the left-hand side of their, their embed. So because all the information FX Twitter provides to create the Discord embed is public, we can request it ourselves using a curl command with the FX Twitter link and see what kind of tags they're using. So here we can see they're using the open graph tags, but they're also using the Twitter cards tags. And also they have this link tag here that specifies the type as JSON plus oembed, which is the oembed method of providing that embed information. So this site is actually using all three methods of, that Discord supports of providing that embed information. So here you can maybe copy some of their techniques if you want to replicate their style. So I hope you now have enough information to create your own embed for sites like Discord or Facebook. Thank you.